Hi, I'm Richard, and over the last 10 years, I've helped over a thousand students prepare for university interviews. And today, I am going through the tips of eight ex-admissions interviewers at Top Russell Group Universities. Now, I know what you're thinking an interview can be quite stressful beforehand, but if you are prepared, it can be a really enjoyable experience in which you get to enjoy your love of a subject with another academic. And those who do well in interviews come out really, really happy with the experience. Over the last 10 years of preparing candidates for interviews, my network has built up a question bank of over a thousand questions and brain teasers. There is no guarantee as to what you're going to be asked and interviews will always come up with new ways to try and catch you out. But by going through the exercises and those difficult brain teasers, you can prepare frameworks to make sure that you succeed and do your best on the day. So the universities which interview candidates in the UK are Oxford and Cambridge for almost all undergraduate courses, UCL and Imperial for the most competitive courses, most Scottish universities and all medical applications. So how likely you are to get the interview stage really varies hugely depending on the university. Interestingly, Cambridge interviews 75% of their applicants, whereas Oxford interviews 45%. Armed with tools like this, myself and my network are able to advise candidates on which universities will give them the highest chance. So if your grades are mediocre, but you have natural interviewing ability, we would advise a comparative course at Cambridge over Oxford. Now, because Cambridge interviews 75% of applicants, they only make offers to 25% of those interviewees, whereas Oxford comes in at 37% of successful interviewees getting an offer. Now, I've helped over a thousand students get offers into their first choice university. And through that 10 years of experience, I have for you five tips to help you prepare before you even get into the interview. Because an interview is an examination, not a written examination, but it is an oral examination, meaning that there is a mark scheme and you can succeed through preparation. Tip number one is start with your personal statement. Your personal statement will set the tone, and if you're lucky, the topics which will be covered in your interview. So by talking about specific topics, you are far more likely to lead the interview. So the prep starts with the personal statement, and we advise thinking very carefully about which topics you want to raise in order to lead that interview when you get there. Number two is to read way beyond the A-level or IB syllabus. You want to be an expert in a specific topic and that passion and that interest is so important to convey. If you have that sparkle in your eye that you love a certain topic, that is the best way to get a successful offer at the end. Reading is great, but if you're not a huge reader, watching YouTube videos, or a really good tip, go to a public lecture at your local university and talk about that experience to show that you really will succeed at university. Tip number three is go to an open day of your first or second choice university. Open days are amazing. You will meet most of the senior leaders. You'll be able to meet people who might be your interviewer and they will give you the specific culture of what that university looks for in a candidate. By saying you went to an open day, by telling the interviewer how you relate to those specific cultural pros that they like to see, you're giving yourself a huge unfair advantage over the competition. Number four, Research your interviewer. Now, you may be told who your interviewer is in advance, or if you're applying to a college or to a medical school, you may be able to predict from a number of interviewers, read around them, find out what's interesting to them, and you can name drop early on in the interview, oh, I saw that you wrote about this paper or you're interested in that topic, I'd love to know more. Huge advantage once again. And the fifth tip is do a mock interview. So many people think that they're naturally good at interviews, but practice is so important. Now, we conduct hundreds of mock interviews per year with ex-admissions professionals to help candidates know exactly what it feels like. And the best mock interviews are with someone you've never met before, so that it feels like a really genuine experience. Mock interviews give you a huge advantage, and then you'll get feedback on how you can better prepare on your strengths and target your weaknesses before the interview. Now, how to perform well during the interview itself. Four tips for you coming up. Number one, positivity. 
smile and enjoy the experience. You might be nervous, but by projecting positivity, you'll actually relax your interviewer, which will help to relax you. Show enjoyment and passion for your subject. It doesn't matter if you don't know the answer, ask a question back and show that you are the sort of candidate who can be taught and say, oh, I haven't thought about that before. Here are my thoughts. Are those are those what you think or do you suggest something different? What could I read on the subject? Show positivity, smile and show enthusiasm. Number two, body language is really important. In an interview, you don't wanna to be too relaxed and you need to wake yourself up. Some of these interviews might be 45 minutes long and it's easy to get a bit too comfortable. And when we get too comfortable, we start saying things we shouldn't be saying like we don't actually like reading. So every time you're asked a question, one, put your feet squarely on the ground. Two, roll your shoulders back. Three, make eye contact and smile. This will keep your body alert and ready to answer the next question. Tip number three, bookend. When you're asked a question, start by repeating the question back and at the end, even if it's been a little bit rambly or a bit waffly, I'm known to do that sometimes, then make sure to bring it back. And that is my third point on how to perform well during an interview. And lastly, don't worry about ums and ahs. It's totally natural to have some ums and ahs and stutters. That adds humanity, it adds personality. People are really worried, they think they have to be natural and fluent, but actually being natural isn't being afraid of pausing. And if you need time, grab a glass of water or just say, I'm gonna think about that for 30 seconds if that's okay. And take a bit of time, relax, and then say thank you, I'm ready to go next. Thanks for watching, I really hope you found that helpful. I'm part of a network of over 1,000 professional admissions consultants, and we are deeply proud to have a 90% success rate for our students of getting into their first or second choice university. If you'd like to join them and work with me or all my colleagues, contact us through the information on screen now or in the description below. Good luck, I hope you get into your first choice university.